advice could you give to someone who is purchasing a car slash van? Number one would be look for transparency in a company and, and make sure that what you're looking at online is transparent all the way down to the dealership. When I say transparent, you want to see things up front. You want to see pricing up front. If you go to the website, I mean, we're all shopping on the internet now. So you really need to want to make sure that as you're looking at vehicles and you're comparing one dealer to the next, one vehicle to another, you actually see prices out there. If somebody's not showing prices, then they might be kind of hiding something from you. Maybe they don't want you to see the prices for a reason. Um, and you want to kind of avoid that, that used car game that people get into of negotiating and hardballing and twisting of arms and stuff. What's happened a couple times with us is uh, we're pretty fair. We show our pricing up front. We, we, don't, uh, we don't hide anything from, from you at all. Then we give you a pretty fair true number on, on your trade price, which is usually pretty much in line with what Kelly Blue Book and NADA would, would offer for a trade. We're, we try to get as close as we can. Or what they're bringing at the auction. Right. If you don't know the price of your vehicle when you're negotiating, somebody can play that game with that used car value all over the place and you really don't know the price you're paying for the vehicle.